All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. So today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between Hart and Makita. We do have the four amp hour battery. So I wanna see what the Hart can do against the Makita LTX uh, brushless drill. And so none of, neither of these are hammer drills. Now this one is Tart's best drill that they have out there. This is not Makita's best drill out there. Makita's best uh, drill out there is their hammer drill, which is model number XPH07. And so yeah, this is Makita's hammer drill right now. They are making a 40 volt system, but once that is released to the United States, I will be getting that as well. And yeah, so it's gonna be a good one, I think. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, so for the Makita, this is model number XFD13. Now this is a uh, brushless motor, 21 point clutch plus uh, just one, plus one. And so there's two speed settings. First speed is zero to 500 and second speed is zero to 1900. And yeah, so it's not a hammer drill, so there's no beats per minute. So belt clip, brushless are of course reverse and forward. LED light, two LED lights on the bottom in a single little unit. And so yeah, this thing is actually pretty awesome. Makita's motor, uh, motors aren't that loud, which is a good thing. And so yeah, so if brushless, does it right there. All right, so that's the Makita. And for the heart, brushless motor, this is a 23 point clutch plus one, which the one is drill. Two speed settings, forward reverse, LED light on the little LED light on the base. It does uh, have a bit holder, which that's old school. No drills have bit holders anymore besides uh, an attachment that you could put on the side like cobalt. All right, so the model number for the heart is HPDD25. 20 volt system, by the way, which really it's 18 volt. Uh, two speed settings, the first speed is zero to 500 and second speed is zero to 1800. So the first speed is the same, but Makita is leading by 100 RPM more on speed two. Uh, neither of these say the torque. I'll put the torque uh, in now. You already saw it for the Makita. So this is the torque for the heart. Both have a metal chuck with plastic housing. And so, yeah. That's speed two for the heart. Speed two for the Makita. So the Makita motor is pretty is a lot quieter. So all right, so we're gonna do so we're gonna do a couple of various tests and see how these act against each other. Alrighty, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Ooh, those are dirty. Much better. Oh, that's a lot better. So first we are gonna do a three-quarter inch hole with a drill bit from Milwaukee. Actually, we're going to do heart first. All right, it's on drills. Uh, battery is full on the heart. Speed two. Let's see if this could even do this. I'm curious. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. It actually did it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'll time these individually, but we'll put it in one shot. Put it in one timer. All right, so ready, go. Wow. One more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now remember, this is only a two by four, so it changes if you add more, if you add thicker wood to it. All right, on the Makita, battery is full. It's, it's on drill, speed two. All right, so ready, go. Oh, that doesn't count. It fed into the other one. Gotta redo it. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, it stopped. 
All right, Makita stopped. That is surprising. Let's do another one. Ready? Go. Wow, I'm surprised that Makita is stopping. All right, so ready? Go. All right, that something's got to... All right, so the Makita is stopping. Let's actually put do one more with the heart. That surprises me. One more, just to see if it stops. Ready? Go. It does it. Holy cow. I don't gain anything if one wins or one loses. I don't gain anything, so I'm just surprised that the heart is actually doing that great of a job. I am surprised. Let's whip out the one-inch spade by Bosch, which I am changing these because since <coughs> uh, I watched the uh, video from VCG Construction, they said that Home Depot is sticking with, is going with Diablo for like most of their bits. So the Bosch bits are actually gonna be uh, done with soon. I'll be using Diablo. Subscribe to VCG Construction. I love their show. I support them big time. A lot of people are involved in, in that in that show. All right, so speed two. Ready? Go. Oh, it stopped. Oh, no, it's through. It's through. It just uh, got caught in the bottom. That usually happens with this with this stuff. All right, so let's do one for Makita. Speed two, battery still full. All right, so ready, go. And it came undone for the Makita. Yeah, I forgot to do with a click one back. Now it's locked into place. Which says, seriously, I'm surprised that Hart is doing Hart did that like nothing. Alrighty, we got a piece of 4x4 four four right here. Let's see on how this does with a 4x4. Four four. We're gonna use a three-quarter inch Milwaukee drill bit, still full on the heart. Speed two, it's on drill. Let's see how these can do with a 4x4. Four four. This might separate the heart from Makita's stuff like this. Alright, so ready? Go. We're only going to do one hole. That punched all the way through. Let's see what the Makita can do. All right. Uh, sorry. Battery is... Oh, that uh, three bars for Makita. It's at speed two. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Wow. I gotta go really slow for the Makita. Let's do one more. All right, so ready? Go. That fed into the other one, too. Yes, it did. All right, I got to go a little bit more. All right, let's see if this can do it. No. Nope. I'm not. I'm barely putting pressure on it, too. Barely. And it's still stopping. Can't even. It requires. For Makita, requires speed one. Surprisingly. Wow. Oh, let's do one more for heart. This this seriously does surprise me. Seriously, I I never actually really truly used this uh, this drill yet, and it actually I'm surprised. All right, so speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Up, oh, it stopped that time. There we go. It did stop that time. Specs and two. Uh, lags. Let's see what this can do. 
Heart goes first, right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Oh. A little bit more in. All right, so ready? Go. Time. That would split. Speed two, it's on drill. Battery is still at three bars. Ready? Go. Alrighty, that's a better spot. So we are actually going to redo the heart because that wood did split when the heart uh, drove it in. Alright, so ready? Go. Time. Wow. Alright, so let's take it out. Ready? Go. Makita is next. Ready? Go. Time. Alrighty, time to whip out my Hilti. The thing that I love about this Hilti bit holder is it's actually a collet itself. So right now it, it's in, just put the bit inside. So it's actually locked in there. Lift it up, take it out. So yeah, it's a, it's a collet bit holder, which I love it. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, I'm surprised it even did it. It is Makita's turn next. Me too. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, Makita cut out. Wow. Makita cut out. It did it, though. It did it, though. Wow. I, I, when it, I don't know what the time is, but when it comes to being able to do the task, Hart is actually winning, which actually seriously surprises me. All right, we're going to take it out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, next one. All right, so ready? Go. Time. And for the grand finale, what each of these are going to do is they are, they are going to drive th uh, one inch speed bore. Now, I think this is one inch. I think it's one, one inch or one and a quarter inch. But each of these are going to drive one whole of these, and let's see if they're even able to do it through a piece of a pressure treated four by six. Three bars, three bars. All right, so ready, go. All right, it is unable to do it on speed two. Speed one is required. Now I am not taking it out because I'm gonna do the same thing for Makita. It is gonna resume where it st uh, st uh, stopped for speed two. All right, so let's continue. It has one chance. It has one chance. Time. It did it. It did it. All right, let's do a quick temperature reading. 85, 86, 95, 91. 97 degrees. Let's see if you can see that. Anyway, 97. It's on drill, speed two. The battery is at three bars still. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. All right, same thing. I'm not stopping it. Switch it to speed one. All right, let's continue. It did it. Did it bleed into the other hole? Surprisingly, it did not. All right, let's carefully take it out. 
You can do it. You can do it. Oop. Time. All right, quick temperature reading on the Makita. 86, 85, 80, 92. All right, so the, the 91. All right, there it is. 91 degrees. So the Makita ran significantly cooler than the, the Hark did. Like I say, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I, and I'm actually surprised. I thought this was going to be like a total domination when it comes to the Makita, but the heart actually surprised me on how good that the brushless version of their drill, how their drill is. Now their three eighths inch brush drill is absolute garbage, but this is, this actually isn't bad. When it comes to the heart brushless stuff, it's actually pretty expensive. Which one would last longer? The Makita would, 100%. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video to see what the difference is, and those results actually surprised me. Now, I do not know what the times are when it comes to but when it comes to the do, getting the task done, I'm surprised that Hart finished it without stopping in the beginning of the video. And even during the, the, the speed bore, that, that's actually crazy. So, so once again, the model number is XFD13 for the Makita, and the model number for the Hart is HPDD25. And so, yeah, and this has 100 RPMs more than the heart does. So that's actually uh, drives me a little crazy when it comes to what this actually just did. And so, yeah, so this tells me I need to get the brushless version of the impact driver because this actually did a, it actually did a pretty decent job. So if you found this video entertaining and helpful, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.